Hi, I'm Ella. Welcome to my channel. So, New Year's has come and gone, and with that, countless people saying, New Year, New Me. Why does everyone say that? It's not like midnight turns and suddenly everyone becomes unrecognisable in some new form of themselves. Everyone is still the exact same person that they were five seconds ago. I mean, really, isn't New Year's now just about making resolutions and then immediately breaking them? Kind of like Lent. It's all kind of a big competition, everyone trying to outdo each other's resolutions. But really, it, does anyone actually intend to keep them anymore? So naturally, I'm going to tell you mine. To hold myself accountable? I mean, really, isn't that what we're all doing? I mean, people posting on YouTube. We post things and say things to hold ourselves accountable. The things I post, I don't always feel that they're 100% the best of my ability, but I keep posting them to hold myself accountable. It gives me something to work towards. I have to prove that I can do better than that last video. Social experiment time! Do people who post their resolutions publicly online actually keep them better than people who don't? Probably not. Here's mine anyway. Actually, to be honest, I don't really do resolutions, so that was kind of pointless. What I do do though is I like to set loads of goals. Um, the past few years I've been using passion planners, so here's my one from last year and I've got my new one just over here and this is my 2018 one which arrived a little while ago um, and I've started getting it all ready for the new year and it's basically just a planner that's goal orientated. It helps you set out your goals at the beginning of your year and each month and then week it helps you break down what you're going to do to achieve those and it helps you plan your week and make sure that you're fitting in things that are going to help you go towards those goals. So I really love these. I would really recommend them for anyone who's out there trying to change the world or not even that, just wanting to get things done. So actually for all this time, my goals. And then we can look back on these at the end of the year and see how far I've got with any of them. So firstly, I want to be getting better content out. I now have a whole rig of lighting, better microphones, editing software. I need to start using it and actually like writing better things so that things that I'm producing, it's not just like good production quality on a bad idea. To maybe post a bit less, but put a lot more effort into each of those videos. Um, I also want to get a bit fitter. Less of a vague goal here. I do park run every Saturday at nine, well, I say every Saturday. Every Saturday that I am able, I go do park run and my goal is to get my time below 25 minutes, say within a year. So that's currently knocking off about three minutes from my time, which I feel is achievable. If you've been subscribed for a while, you may have noticed a lot of NaNoWriMo videos popping up. Um, I did NaNoWriMo this year, I managed 10,000 words, which was not a huge amount of my novel, but um, I hope to get that first draft completed by the end of this year. I said in one of my other videos that I hope to have a first draft completed before NaNoWriMo 2018 so I can basically use Nano this year to go through and make edits. I want to improve my singing. I guess maybe that could be a resolution, like singing practice every day. We'll see. But I guess goals that I could work towards are concerts, maybe doing an exam. So I'm going to look more into that and hopefully do some of those. I want to get a 2-1 in my degree. I graduate this year. Uh, I would like to get a 2-1. That's, that's, that's the goal. I have, an, I have exams in about a week's time, so that should give a pretty uh, decent predictor of how this year is going to turn out and what I'm going to be graduating with, so uh, yeah. I also want to read more. I used to read a lot when I was little. I had to get like a second bookshelf for my room a few years ago because I was reading so much and getting so many books that my one bookshelf I had started stacking books on top of it and it was so precarious that it literally it could have fallen and crushed me in the middle of the night like any minute. These two bookshelves are starting to get quite crowded actually. I have double rows on nearly every single shelf on both of them and stuff stacked on top so those are probably heading in the same direction but uh, it's been quite slow going in like in the past few years I haven't read a huge amount. I just generally want to read more, broaden my horizons so, or something. So I guess those are all quite general things, there's nothing like terribly personal there, but um, nothing like 
self-improvement. They're all quite general and generic, but um, you know, I guess we can recap at the end of the year and see how I've done. Let me know in the comments if you've got any resolutions or goals for the year and how likely you think it is that you're gonna actually keep them. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to stay updated when my latest videos come out. Till next time, bye!